Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. Today we're tackling my most dreaded chore, the bathroom. I thought I would take you along with me and explain how I go about it and the products that I use. The process is easy and straightforward, but yet I still put it off for as long as possible. Before we get started, for those of you tuning in for the first time, hi, my name is Sarah. I am a wife and mum to three boys aged 14, 13, and my youngest is 10 this week. Most of the males in my family are dirt blind, so you'll expect to find lots of cleaning motivation because keeping up with their mess in itself is a full-time job. First, can I point out that no matter the angles I've tried to film, truly picks up how bad this bathroom really is. So the floor, believe me when I say it is just disgusting. I make a point of wiping the sink and toilet every single day because when you have four males using the toilet, it gets out of hand really fast. As for the rest of my bathroom, I think the last time I thoroughly addressed it was well over a month ago. I know, I know, Grace, right? This bath is the bane of my adult life. I hate it so much. We've had so many leaks from the tidal waves the boys make that we've had to use this strip thingy around it and it just looks awful. It stains easily and gets a build-up of gunk. We are replacing it soon, but for now, I just have to make do and try and scrub it the best I can. <laughs> so, for those of you who've been around for a while will laugh when you see this towel situation, but it's a small win as I guess I'm not picking them up off the bedroom floors. But still, how many towels do they need? I'm starting with the bath and shower. I'm using Vicodol, which is a lime scale remover. I don't really care for this brand and much prefer Silit Bang, but this is all I have on hand today. I use it to break down all the soap, scum and grime, and generally it works really well. The key to making all the chrome shine is to use a dry cloth to dry and buff afterwards. You can see here that I'm scrubbing the tiles. I'm having a really hard time getting rid of the white lime scale buildup. Does anybody have any suggestions or products that have worked for you? Can you let me know because I'm really worried I'm stuck with this buildup now. <laughs> So I'm definitely getting a workout done whilst addressing this bath. I was using French vanilla soap. I love the smell so much. I also like the Flash Bicarb spray. Unfortunately, the, this product didn't do much to remove the grime buildup on the seal. So I'm resorting to the big guns bleach. I'm squirting it in the bad areas, which did remove some, but ultimately the only way I'm going to get rid is to replace this whole strip. I'm making sure to thoroughly wash away all the bleach so I can then go in 
and clean up the taps with the Vicodol. I have made the mistake of making one too many gas bombs before. Whispering soft, alluring signs Wrapping you around my finger Gently touch, full of spell Blinding you into another Sneaking round, hunt and pray To find me another lover Behind closed doors, an empty space We're in a secret love encounter I'm a lonely heart, heart feeling Take what's mine, then I leave behind I'm a lonely heart, heart feline I take what's mine, then I leave behind So, high and low points to the week. Now, I'm going to sound like a broken record at this point, but the kids are killing me. They're constant bickering. And now, I think we're in the second week of the summer holidays, and it already feels like I've done a year at this point. Also, my poor dog, Biscuit, is going to the vet hospital today. Unfortunately, he had a collision with a puppy that I'm looking after. And somehow, he's managed to almost knock his fang tooth out. So, it's kind of just hanging sideways. Well, I think that's what he's done. In my gut, I think I know he'll need surgery. He is being super brave and seems to be fine eating. So my high point, after what feels like rain for an eternity, summer has finally decided to show up. It's been nice slowing down and soaking as much of the sun as I can before it decides it's had enough and disappears and we are back to the typical British weather. What are your hearts been told when I'm not sure that much more Lonely heart, heart feet align I take what's mine, then I leave behind I'm a lonely heart, heart feet align I take what's mine, then I leave behind I'm a lonely heart, heart feet line. I take what's mine, then I leave behind moved on to the toilet here I've switched to using bleach spray for my family I'm afraid bleach is the best disinfectant because we all know how great boys are at aiming fortunately because I keep on top of this every day it's not shocking the floors around it however well let's just say I'll spare you the details I wish I was above the center of attention, but I'm not I wish I didn't have to give in to the pressure, uh oh mm. I'm posting pictures, trying to be someone I'm not It feels just like I'm lying to you I fake it, stage it, trying to live some perfect life I know I'm wasting time Cause I just wanna call my friends and see what they're doing tonight It doesn't have to be so special I try to be myself, you do the same and we'll be alright Impressive. 
why is there a cherry on the floor so this was just ugh, one swipe with the cloth mm, yuck mystery sticky spots make me want to puke Here's a, a quick trick that I've learned. If you're wearing nail polish on, on your toes and you catch the bath as you're getting in, uh, many, many, many products will not work. However, if you use a magic eraser, it takes it off within about one second. So finally, it's time to sweep and mop the floors. Normally when I'm doing a deep clean, I like to use my traditional mop and bucket but I've gotten to the point of heat stroke and I'll be damned if I have to run downstairs to grab it. So for today, I'm using my flash speed mop with a microfiber cloth attached, which is a great tip if you've run out of the disposable pads. In a second, you'll see me popping up my new shower curtain. I am so excited about this. I ordered it off of Amazon and it's come all the way from America. It feels like a normal curtain. If I remember it's made out of cotton, you can wash and iron it. It needs to be used with a shower liner, but it looks awesome. And there we have it guys. We've sadly come to the part of the video where I need to say goodbye. If you've enjoyed spending time with me today, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not for more cleaning motivation. Come and share your own tips with me in the comments. And if you don't have tips, I would love for you to come and chat with me and tell me how you're all doing. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I will see you all next weekend. I hope you have a fantastic week. Much love.